Right, hello everybody. Welcome to uh, Generic Bash Team versus Gadenix Sidestep Tents. What we have here is a terribly designed custom roster um, that we have been able to make on Blood Bowl 2 thanks to admin assistance um, for Squirrel Dudes one game from Jim. And um, the, the TV is equal according to the roster that they made. It is a roster designed by Dode and Sage. I think it's a terrible roster for multiple reasons, not least of which they have given the demons mutation access, which demons cannot mutate. So that already makes them stupid and crap. Um, <laughs> also, I just think it's a, I think it's a really bad team at winning. Um, you know, now obviously, uh, Kadenik's a very good coach, so you still may win this game, and <laughs> you may outplay me, and may outdice me, and maybe I'm wrong, maybe they are a good team, but um, I really don't think they are. We've got Demonettes that cost like 100, 100k, I think, for a 7, 3, 4, yep. 7, no hands, um, regen, claw, hypno gaze player. Obviously, the key thing there being it, Hatch 4 and no hands. Um, the big guy, we, we made them using these custom games to use, like the custom teams to use different models for them. Um, so the line, the Dark Elf linemen are, are demonettes. The beast men are Slangors, which are movement up beast men for 80k, which is pretty good, except instead of strength access, they have agility access. Um, Oh, that's pretty good, isn't it? The uh, the fa the foul of the disturbing presence is he's got a flaming head. That's pretty cool. So yeah, this is the keeper of secrets, which is <laughs> the worst big guy in the game. One hundred and eighty k um, for claw. He doesn't get strength access, <laughs> so you can't give him mighty blow claw. He's got wild animal no frenzy. He does get agility access on normals, so he can get dodge and sidestep. Brilliant. Um, he breaks so many rules, doesn't he? Because he also gets regeneration, <laughs> even though he's a wild animal. Which wild animal doesn't get regeneration? It's really stupid. Like I don't. God, he breaks like literally. He gets no frenzy, but he gets regeneration as a wild animal. <laughs> he breaks every rule of big guy design. That's like clearly been there. Like all right, <laughs> cool. So yeah, he's just he's just the he's worst so big bad. guy in the game. He has got leader, which makes him, which makes him like, uh, it makes him not as expensive. You know, comparatively as expensive as he kind of should be, but he's still super expensive and shit. He's basically <laughs> like 120k, which is actually cheap for wild animals. Wild animals are not only bad, they're usually expensive. Yeah. So, that is nice for them, but I don't... But still bad for Blood It's Ball. hard to figure out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> still hard to figure out like, if he's actually good, just because the little... He won't be shown in a matchup, but I really do think he'd be very, very poor against builds. So we won't be able to confirm that or like see that in action, but I'm thinking that, like Yeti, he's going to be just dog shit. Yeah. And now, then, not all uh, well and all they're dog shit against builds, but I think Warriors are okay, but like, Yeti's. He's a Yeti, and Yetis are so, so bad. Yeah. The Linos are horrific because the Linos don't have general access, so, you know, yeah. Gadenic just hasn't given them any skills apart from a double for guard. Which is fair enough, because why even bother giving them anything? Um, if you're not going to get block. It's rubbish, isn't it? You can't get block, you can't get dirty play, you can't get wrestle. <laughs> yeah, you I double, think you take you'd go dog spam. This would be definitely like one of the two really bad teams. Dwarves are the other ones. Like, oh, congratulations, it's agility three dodge spam. Oh, wait, you just get hard countered by dwarves. Like, completely wrecked by them the way Amazons do. Except the rest of your team has, like, doesn't have blood. <laughs> yeah. It's terrible. And this is Scroll dude, by the way, and who's on commentary because it was his it was his one game from Jim that was redeemed to play these two games. <laughs> the dirty I don't demon. know how no, no no don't worry fans. I have no idea how we got two games here either. <laughs> so <laughs> here we are. Hello Icon style. So yeah, this is this was a little bit disappointing. But uh, he's given us the hit on him now, right? Uh three, four, five, six. So that's interesting. Brutalizing him with Mighty Blow here. Absolute standard Jim Mighty Blow. Our AV8, but yeah. 
you roll, and you're like, oh, no way he breaks. He's going to be probably more sturdy than... They're going to be like Slon, where they're going to stand up for a couple of turns, and then they'll just explode. Um, that's what Slon do. Yeah. So you're like, oh wait, I have no armor, but I need to die. <laughs> Hello, just Joe? Alright, let's protect the ball a little bit. Controversial. But I get off topic, because Triarrays is an interesting point. Are there any other big guys that would still be a questionable selection if they had leader? I guess like the Chaos Dwarf Minotaur, maybe, but even, I think the Chaos Dwarf Minotaur you maybe take if they had leader. Yeah, you probably would, yeah. He's, he's in oh, for the ball might... here, to be fair. I'm, I'm taking the bait here, punching this guy, by the way. Oh! Oh, no, I took the bait! I'm getting I'm getting claw hit by him. <laughs> he's going to sidestep next to me. He's going to sidestep to one of these two. So he's going to hit me with claw. He's going to hit my killer with claw, and he's going to gaze through and steal the ball as well. Fuck's sake. What a crap player I am. So... You know, bro, what what Sage was probably thinking when he uh, his input to the game was, I want a team that will slaughter bad players. <laughs> and this is probably going to slaughter bad players like me there. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Depends how much the leader would cost, wouldn't it, for, the, for them? That's the thing. Depends how much the leader would cost. Like, if, it, if a Chaos Minor cost 210k with the leader, you'd probably... <laughs> You know, he wouldn't become a leader or he wouldn't become a need or include, would he? Um, yeah, I, I do think he wanted that as well, but still. So, I mean, if we're going to break the rules the way the um, Keeper of Secrets does, if that Chaos Dwarf, that Chaos um, Dwarf Minotaur not only lost, uh, lost Frenzy and gained leader and gained regen, you'd probably <laughs> take it at that point. It's a much better player. Oh, yeah, but if it loses strength access, it's done, isn't it? Like, oh, mm -hmm. man, no strength access is so comically bad. It's ridiculous. I mean, yeah, I mean, as Niamh yeah, says, it's, it's going to be really hard. Like, it's very hard to evaluate how good the Hypno Gaze on this team is because they don't, they aren't vampires who can, like, single-handedly just win games and threaten the ball on their own. You need other players to show up and be like, also, we're scary too. I don't... It's not, oh, it's not necessarily something the team has in spades. Yeah. Is other players to win games. They have, like, two. They have two, yeah, that's correct. <laughs> game, so there you go. Oh! Instant, instant AV break. No, it wasn't. <laughs> no, he didn't kill me. Good. I thought for sure he was going to kill me with that guy. Blah. He's the one doing the blitz because I can't break tackle out of this guy, can I? God, I'm crap at blood ball. Keep <laughs> 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 it in mind that. Um, so yeah, it turns out, hypno gaze and also not protecting the ball or and admitting hypno gaze is there is bad. Yes, this was this was just perfect. Of, this was just perfect defense and shit play. This this wasn't this wasn't the team being good. This was me being bad. I mean, if the team is like, where you're playing on that kind of edge, where you're having to like give up typically good options, I think it is meaningful. Oh, I think that is a little bit meaningful. Um, but I can see the point. Being made. Because the Minotaur has Mighty Blow um, up at Pac-Man, so it doesn't work. 
Minotaur also has like Frenzy and Fixed Skull and a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. That we can't remove the skills. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, he Lucky didn't. Dog Jim. He didn't catch it. Instant air V break. Well, that was pretty good. Definitely a um, an apo there because this is a one off game. I'm not sure that's an apo in a real game. But... No, definitely not. He doesn't have tentacles, does he? So I could just that's dodge fine. Still, this is also like a interesting moment about like the ability of the team. Well, this is going to be a big turn about the ability of the team to win games coming up because suddenly, uh, the only mobile players don't have hands. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. uh, now what? Yeah, it might be. It, it depends, but it's. Uh... I think that might maybe I don't know if that's an apo in this situation. I can see that apo on like your offense. I don't know. It might be an apo. I, I think it's m more likely to be an apo in this situation than it is a, in a real game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's really unlikely to get it though, right? So I feel like the fact that he's got blodge. <laughs> <laughs> like, if he doesn't get, you know, this is, he's good at 31 SPPs if he gets a double. <laughs> um, and that's not, a, that's not yeah, really. Yeah, he's actually uh, okay at 31 without a double because he gets, you know, dodge step tentacles. I think that's actually okay. With you, getting hit by block, up. though, like this, this makes him invincible to knockdowns instead of not. If he didn't have block, they would have knocked him down yeah. with a claw pommer and probably cast him and then he's gone, isn't he? So the block is yeah. huge. I think he's I think, I think he's okay. I, I do think that at like third, what is it, fifty one, he has to kinda of roll a double to really justify himself. Yeah. So Oh no, the claw hits coming in. <laughs> oh, look at this look at dog. Instant scatter into two tackle zones. I'd really like to start this again and play properly. <laughs> 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 but the perfect defense combined with me playing badly is, is all this is. It's it's disappointing because it's nothing like I mean I think game. it is good to see that how well the team can pounce on that. But... I'm fine continuing. And besides, we're going to get another half of like offense, and also I want to see how this team plays on offense because um, it's questionable how it performs on offense as well. Yeah. Of course, of course, it's still in a fucking tackle zone. Jesus Christ, man. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All my rerolls like, are going to be like, gone like, in. Secret like, has, has like a magnetic quality to him <laughs> that attracts all of Jim's players. Somehow. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Guess I'm just stay where I am. Put some tackles on on the balls that you just gaze me to get rid of them. Seems good. <laughs> Hey! An actual failed gaze. 
unreal. Yeah, the team is very much like Slum. They need to roll a couple of threes, and if they do, they look a little one. If they fail the threes, it's like, well... Oop. <laughs> oop. Let's try it again. Oop, for go. I will vote for That's devastating to Slum when they fail the... You know, when Slum fail the three, their turn ends and their player, like, kill himself. So... <laughs> yeah. It's, I mean, like, Vamps are phenomenal when they never fail a gaze, but... Mm. It's it's really hard when they never fail, so it's it's good to have a fail there. <laughs> oh, they just win games on their own, though. They can do all the hard stuff themselves. Thralls are basically there as just like fodder and to be a thing that the vampires need help. <laughs> and to like balance the team out. Thralls don't have to do anything in those games the way that Slawn Gores will have to do things in these games for the Demonites. <laughs> Sorry, by fault force. <laughs> wow, this is maybe isn't going so well. <laughs> by fuck you. Hopefully he's joking because um, he 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 requested the timeout fault force. <laughs> I don't think he expected it to be such a popular option. <laughs> Fuck's sake, man. Getting absolutely diced here. Oh, obviously playing shit as well. <laughs> I like Gadenic showing you all the plays that he can't do because Demon X is shit. <laughs> I mean, this I is just me possible. playing um, shit. Oh. I think it's also interesting that one of the issues... Thanks to a Hedenic, fucking perfect defender. Once he's gotten pressure on the ball, hasn't really been able to take advantage of this, these, these incredibly impactful claw hits with the team, because he's like, well, I kind of need the damage to, like, hit no gaze and free up everyone else on the team to do stuff. So the claw isn't as impactful as you might expect. You know, he's attacking the ball, but he still isn't really doing anything. <laughs> yeah, the claw is a bit of a waste, yeah, it's only, you only be able to use the claw when things are going well. And Jim's just gonna roll pals on like every important clock right now, so this can still go on. <laughs> See the way it's going. Oh, fuck off. I don't have dodge. <laughs> I've given them blood. <laughs> oh well. I thought I'd double one then, but it was alright. Yeah, I'm just shooting the fire there. Worst possible scatter. For the Slanesh, kind of. Um, they've got... They've got a fucking... Uh, they've got two pestigals. Not pestigals. They like pestigals, aren't they? They're 80k. Decent. But they're movement 7, like, they're actually really good. The slangors are really good, to be fair. No, the slangors would be good on, like, any other Chaos team. They'd be some of the star, they'd be total star players, because they just fill the niche that those teams don't have. On this team, they're kind of superfluous, or they're necessary, because you need a, a player that has general and agility access that has hands. Yes. Um, They're kind of like Skaven linemen on Underworld, where they just become star players, because God knows you need a strength 3 player mm -hmm. somewhere. Um, but they, but on, or like, I guess maybe like Skaven Thor would be more apt, but like, no, they, they're genuinely would be very good players on a Chaos, and like, you'd bring one every single time. Two. <laughs> I just bring one just to min max a little bit, so you'd have the four, but. So you're gonna need to protect, like, your rule of five or whatever, but. Same way you might only bring one Witch Elf for that. Um. I don't want to have two Witch Elves as well. <laughs> I think there'd be an argument to only bringing one. But there has been an argument. For I think one, there'd yeah. be a guaranteed one. Ugh. Same with like uh, a little bit some other like ghouls on Necro. You just need to bring one. Fucking hell! Fucking hell! Fucking 
god, this is what a shit game this is. <laughs> Every nugget is a successful. Oh. It's just annoying because I've played like ass. <laughs> it's good that it's a meaningless game. <laughs> that is certainly a good thing. That <laughs> it's a meaningless game. That's not going on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> the other one, the other one can win. <laughs> when James gets smashed to pieces by dark elves. When I get when I get ruined, that one can go on. <laughs> it is slanesh fiction. It's uh, it's Sage's shitty slanesh team. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good demonstration of how if you like give Slanesh an opening, they are more than capable of taking advantage of it. If they roll, you know, every three plus, but like <laughs> Yeah, if they roll all of the dice and you fill all of the dice. <laughs> yeah. They're pretty I mean, damn good. Dice with, that, with that terrible. I mean you've got knockdowns on all the stuff all the time, you just consistently be able to keep putting pressure on the ball and splitting the team up. Um I think it was that like, I think it was pretty good dice on both sides, I just they were able to leverage. There was a bit more... Also, I mean, he built a team specifically to take, take advantage of the situations with the, with the two agility four slot cores, so... It's mostly it's mostly that I played ass after the perfect defense. But still, I still, like, got horrible... Oh, come on, man. I got horrible scatters every time. Used all my rerolls, he's used none. <laughs> It's definitely a bit of a dicing, but also mostly it was crap play by me. Like that, it was. If I hadn't made crap decisions, the dice wouldn't have mattered so much. Yeah, gears yeah, is pretty this, OP, I, especially when it yeah, think, fails. Mm -hmm. I think this matchup is a bit worse again. I, I don't know. You should think that's it's really, really hard. And this isn't a good test for this, but they're the most contentious players because it's very hard to evaluate their development like in any format. Because they're claw hits, and that's okay, I guess. You can't really focus level them as a unit the way you can, like, Elf Blitzer. Yeah. Or Werewolves. Or anybody with hands. <laughs> in fact... <laughs> Those two are the most easy comparisons to the, these players, so that's the way I brought them up. Like, yeah, I know, but it's, 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 it's also it is just anybody with hands, though. <laughs> like, this is so bad. This is so bad not having hands. It's ridiculous. But when you get blitzed on and perfect defensed, and then play shit. They're pretty, they're pretty good then. Yep, perfect. Good. I'm just gonna get humiliated by Gadani. <laughs> oh, this is what your brain is on, like after playing what you see CCL, You're like, oh wait, I have to try. I'm. I mean, to be fair, I've, I've pretty much just woken up as well and come on and played. But um, I definitely played shit going after the big damage just because I could. I did the absolute shitter move of, oh, well, fucking. Hit this. I mean, because the big guy isn't even a threat either. It is just completely dumb to stick my guys on. Team does have a similar issue to uh, develop chaos of that it has like seven players on a blitz. <laughs> That's not great. And have that issue too, where they have like three players that want to blitz, so like, a lot of them feel super foolish at times. This is guard, clever, clever Dino. Clever Dino with guard. Too clever for me. Should have uh, should have been punished there. <laughs> I 
At least I got a chance to pick up the ball, eh? On turn, on turn <laughs> five, I got a chance to pick up the ball. <laughs> oh, it's it's funny, but like, no hands not catching these guys is actually kind of a big deal for the team because they're going to be around the ball all the time. Yeah. By getting having no hands to be able to pick up the ball is kind of a thing. Yeah. Especially when their opponents can't pick it up because they're going to automatically scatter the ball because they'll be hypnogazed. <laughs> yeah, there are no hands. Is, is a great name. <laughs> that could have been. That could have been a name of the team. There are no hands. Oh shit! That should have been his two teams. There should have been. We have hands, and there are no hands. It would have been really good. Uh, no, Eddie. No, I have definitely not learned to speak proper English. This is Squirrel Dude. An American, a real American, fights for the rights of every man. <laughs> oh no, you can't! You can't say that. I mean, I know the reference, but you can't say that. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ, girl, dude! Well, if, for anybody who's confused, that's uh, that's something that that's in reference to something that Hulk Hogan did, which was what that music was, the Real American and everything. It, it does not reflect. It does not reflect Squirrel Dude's actual beliefs or mine, obviously. And by reference to what Hulk Hogan did, we mean saying what Hulk Hogan said by removing the racial slurs. So yes, but I would have still rather you hadn't said any of it. <laughs> I'm just lost. This is fucking shit, isn't it? I'm just shit at Blood Bowl. I just want to concede. Can I, am I allowed to concede? I, knew, I'm not, I, I might drop this one game from Jim, I think. <laughs> we, um, play to the Slash's offense. That's what I'm more curious at seeing at this point. Because we're not going to see a defense where they have to, like, you know, play defense. Um, cause they're gonna get perfect E and blitz, but I do want to see how they play on offense against the Bastion. So we can just get to that point. Get through that. I don't know. I don't really... Again, I don't care about the results, so, like, whatever. 3-1. Nice. It, play, it plays like an FG14, which is good to see. Um, I guess. I mean, it, when they get a blitz and a perfect defense... Well, they, they take advantage of those the way an FG4 team does. Not necessarily, you might I think that's not necessarily the case, but that is the case. Again, the way Gedanix built them, that is true. Um, with the, the extra AG4 dodging. But... I don't know, I think, I think they're shit. <laughs> I still think they're shit. Just the fact that he's rolled a blitz and, and a perfect defense where I sacrificed half of my team for no reason, and he's got loads of skills on them. I, think... I, I do think they could end up like falling upwards into uh, Brett tier, or they end up being better. However, again, this is like a super ideal match for them in that they get development. I don't know if this team, if we put it in like, here, play 10 games starting from TV 1000 and an open ladder. I don't know how well this team does because, yeah. you know, if, um, like the first game against Undead and their entire team is dead. Like, I don't know what they do from that point. <laughs> I guess restart and hope they don't play Undead or Lizardman or like Dwarf or something in game one. Oh yeah, could have turned off kickoff events, that might have been an idea to get a fairer representation rather than just absolute bullshit. 
But it was my fault. I mean, the perfect defence wasn't that bad. It was it was that I played bad because of the perfect defence. If he hadn't got the perfect defence, I wouldn't have, I would have avoided the keeper of secrets. But then I thought, oh, I can hit it. Which, so it was my bad. You know, it was just my bad play rather than the kickoff event. But obviously, the blitz was brutal. You could go ahead and just like end turns and get to the offense if you want. Like I don't, I don't care if it's like I don't care. Like are we gonna play two more turns? Unless you want to get those two more turns of like hitting in to see what that affects or anything. Um, you could just skip forward to the uh, offense and see what that looks like for slash or talk. Or no, I'll carry real on. Game. I'll carry okay. All right. I'll carry on play. Now when they decide that the property is valuable enough to put them at invest in man hours into making another game that's just going to be the exact same as the previous one which will require them just reanimating generating a whole brand new batch of models and a million new teams and then figure out how they can monetize it oh god no actual, what, like, kick, kick would have been good on this team wouldn't it one of the teams where kick is good it's a shame they don't have like the general actors to take advantage of it yeah yeah they can never take it <laughs> because they've got to take guard and block <laughs> If only they had a war dancer who could take kick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, because that was what the guy who created it wanted. Uh, he wanted a penis, so he made a penis. Yeah, it's it, this is the ultimate how to beat shitters team, isn't it, really? <laughs> That's what I would say this team is. And uh, obviously I proved it, proved it by being an absolute shit at this game. <laughs> so, go me. Um, but yeah, you know, and like, Kislev, well, Slam, did great on Fumble for quite a while until people learn how to play against them. So there's certainly an element of that as well, right? You know, it's, uh, it's not every day that you play against somebody with... Uh, Vampires that never that never bloodlust. <laughs> so that's a bit different. So you know, if I'd if I'd thought I would have never done that turn against vampires, right? My first turn, I would have never done against vampires that I did there. So. So you know. Yeah, pretty good CCL team Orioleans yeah. Yeah, pretty good for crushing noobs and. I mean, love your we games. say that, but like, Kislev aren't a good CCL team because you can't develop them, and they all and they explode at like team value eleven hundred, and so this is. <laughs> it's, if you said you could go into a CCL with a fifteen hundred slunish or slon team, they'd probably be pretty good. Yeah. Um, because you add all the skills that you need to get on the team, and they get this nice even development that you don't get in real life because you end up like having. You get some development and then they die, and then you get some more development. And it gets all scattered, and you don't get to build this optimized these optimized players that have all these synergistic skills because you're just kind of like you're trying to stem the bleeding constantly. And also, you have a million developed linemen that are just eating a bunch of dog shit skills that you don't want. Yeah. Um. So, I don't know if um. It might be the same again. This is kind of an idealized format for Slump because or Slanesh because I'm gonna I'm just gonna just say Kislev. I'm gonna get those two confused. Yes. Um, be because, like Kislev and like some other teams, this team is designed to be really bad at Team Value 1000. And unlike, say, Underworld or Chaos Pact, they can't min max Claw Palm. Again, by design, and also that's a good thing because Chaos Pact should never be int introduced into Blood Bowl. <laughs> um, if they can help it, just keep it away forever. It's a horrible team. Done this wrong. Looks like they have. Oh god. He's not a scoring threat because he's got no hands. <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> the no hand scoring threat was a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. I have never created my own team, no problem. Well, marginally, kind of, I've created my own team one time because I helped Gary and with his team um, of, what's it called, Hobgoblins. I had some good ideas for the Hobgoblins. 
And of course, Hobgoblins are the best team in Secret League. Because of my input, so, you know, I take full, full credit for that. <laughs> Bowl of Cathay and Nibbana's, like, decent teams that would actually, like, could easily go into Blood Bowl, like, right now and would be fine. Um, bland, but they're just, they're fine. They just work. Yeah, I mean, having not having two hands, not, not having two hands, not having hands on a couple of players isn't that bad, is it, really, at the end of the day? Like, it kind of sucks that obviously you can't do things with them, but it's not that bad because you can't, you know, you can't even dodge with, with bloody Edge 2 players. So, and plenty of players have Edge 2 players. Plenty of teams have Edge 2 players. So, like, you know, Saurus might as well have no hands, and I know they score and everything, blah, 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 but... For like winning games, Saurus have no hands almost. So it isn't that bad to not have hands, but um, it's obviously bad. <laughs> Issue for them is that they're paying Saurus don't have hands, but that's because they get agility one, and for some reason get like movement six out of it by losing one agility. <laughs> yeah, they get two. Four. Like that's the trade-off. Uh, they would have to have agility four and lose hands. It's a bit of a bigger problem for them in terms of like the value cost you're paying there. Yeah, obviously, yeah. But do you know what I mean though? It's still like what I mean is other teams mm -hmm. have it and it's not that bad. It yeah. really isn't that bad to not have hands. Um so, but like agility that trolls don't have hands, right? Like oh no, my trolls don't have hands. How do I level? It's like I don't know, you probably just punch stuff all the time, so it's yeah. fine. Yeah, and these guys just gaze all the time, so punch punch with claw or, or gaze. So Obviously, you would love it if they had hands. Like, if they had hands, they would be they would be really good. <laughs> They'd be really fucking good if they had hands. Um, really fucking good. But it, it was interesting that, like, on turn two, it's like, well, everything's gone to shit. Oh, I guess I've stunned their like one player, so it's fine. I guess I get another turn to try and stabilize the situation. Like, you stunned one guy, their entire team's in the backfield. Like, yeah, we can just we can try again next turn. It's fine. Yeah. I don't know if that's great. I don't know if that's great for the team. No, no, it's um, definitely not. But what I mean is it's just not terribly game-ending. The, uh, yeah, the Kazan MVP, the only way to level them. So, the, the, you know, it's really unlikely to get them the blocks and stuff. So, because it's hard. And they've got regen, to be fair. They've got regen, so they'll, they'll survive a while. But, hey, it got a rock. Outrageous. Fucking touchback. No, it's not. Oh, it's a good kick. Yeah, it's really bad that you can't score on them for sure. So, like the the main the main weakness of the no hands is the no development, <laughs> pretty much. I think at this point, I mean, there are going to be like ghouls, and that done. You're going to be like, all right, I've got block and dodge, or if I got mighty blow, you'd go for more levels, right? Um, but. At block and dodge, you should just consider them a complete player. Like, that's what they are. They're a blodging movement 7 player with hypno gaze. They're done. Like, they're completely solidified. I think you even skip stats on them because you need just the core skills more. And they don't gain much from stats. Because movement 8 isn't very great when you can't, you know, pick up the ball. And strength isn't really necessary. And agility is going to be hard for them to take advantage of. So... Core skills in your role stats, obviously. I think you might skip them for core stats early on, though. But, like, at Block and Dodge, they're completely fine players. It's just getting them there. Getting them there as a unit, um, honestly, getting the team there in general is hard. Like, same with, like, I mean, it's like kids love catchers, though. <laughs> Getting they're really good. <laughs> they're suddenly, like, complete players. But it's kind of tricky to get the team there. Yeah. Did he just hand off? Um, yeah, he did, yeah. <laughs> In the previous game. Handed off to the time. <laughs> Classic. Yeah, agility gives you gears, it just means that you can't pick up the ball, doesn't it? So it's it's still good, but is it 40 TV good? Probably not. Yeah, the issue is that they can't get a lot of it. And I, again, I think if you do a dodge, you take it, but it, you're... It, 
with every stat, like it's the typical issue of delaying development further, which with Slanesh Demonets is a big problem. It's more of a problem than it is with other players because you can't use that agility to force touchdowns onto them. Um, with if you had dodge already, I think you take it at that point. Cause now it's agility five dodging with agility five hypno gaze, no plus plus, and that's amazing. But naked agility five is. Yeah. No GFI Joe, they are absolutely unofficial and uh, in no way, shape or form, vaguely official. No, I wouldn't take agility on them either, but, you know, the Edge 5 gears would be worth 20k, it wouldn't be worth 40k. Because, I mean, you know, and obviously, you, you'd get the Edge 5 dodges, right? You get Edge 5 dodges and you get Edge 5 gazers. But losing Edge 5 pickups is, is fucking huge, and Edge 5 handoffs and everything, and Edge 5 throwing, you know, Edge 5 ball handling is losing that is, is you know, is shit. But Edge 5 dodges and leaps and gazes are all good. Don't look now, but suddenly Jim has a chance to kind of get back into this game. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> I mean, he's got two players that can handle the ball. True, true. Yeah, I've thought the defense would be easier for this team going in, and it just kind of looked like that. I think the offense is where it's going to start getting a bit tight. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, I did cast oh. guy as well. No. I just got stuck on for the whole of my offense. <laughs> I made my <laughs> offense pretty, pretty shitty. Just getting stuck on a dude instead of casting him. Thinking strength is there to get hit, so you can't be hit punched back. It's not actually there for hitting players. It's a control skill. I always forget that. Strength is actually not a kill skill, it's a control skill. Yeah, yeah, kind of it's both, isn't it? It is, it is both. I mean, but losing, losing half of... <laughs> <laughs> losing half of the like agility is for playing the ball as well isn't it it's doing both mm. it, and you're losing half of the utility of it which isn't great don't want to want, don't want to base the ball go on yeah <laughs> ball is based Lucky Jim. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, try. Yeah, if you couldn't block at all with a, with a player, <laughs> strength four not so good, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be interesting, Jamas McGamis. Yeah, if like if they were edge four for dodging but edge two for ball handling. Then the plus edge would be much better, wouldn't it? So this was interesting in how like once things go well, the keeper of secrets isn't was not very useful this game. I mean, he did get to keep the player side up because you know Jim put them there. Oh, well, plotted a thing. <laughs> yes. Um, I don't. Just didn't do much. No, no, if I hadn't if I hadn't sacked off half my team onto him because of the perfect defence, it would have been fine. They could have been protecting the ball. And then he wouldn't have got the hit on the ball and he wouldn't have recovered the ball. And I would have had people around and it would have all been fine. <laughs> oh, the dice are coming up. No hits and tentacles. <laughs> I like no hits. No hits is a skill. Sneaky gears. Dirty Dino. Nice play there by Gedanik. Yeah. Unfortunately, that is a weakness of Chofs in general, isn't it? Is that they don't have a lot of agility and stuff, so... 
when they get into these kind of situations, they're not that good at dealing with it. I did think I mean, about dodging him. Up to the right side of the field to like go deal with Flyman and does help. If I'd only dodged him away and come back, I'd have been fine, wouldn't I? But I, uh, I didn't. Oh, look a dog. Hmm. What was I going to move him for? Oh, to cancel that assist. <laughs> right, let's power him. Instant full pause. <laughs> Ah, fuck off! It's in a fucking tackle zone. <sighs> Didn't even break armor. How unlucky can you get? Oh, man, just it's getting in a tackle zone is just fucking okay, horrible. Well, he's like, the team's completely fucked up for the next turn off. They can't do anything if you break armor on that player. Find yeah, he'd have been really fucked if he brought an armor, but didn't. And failed to pick up. Didn't move that these guys first. It's horrible because... <laughs> you just fucked if you don't break AV. <laughs> like, because they just gazed you and blitz you and everything, and then they're away again. Fuck's sake. Oh, it would have been a good idea to just run the whole back before going for the pickup, but I don't know. But then you can't go for the pickup if you do that, right? So, I don't know. Yeah, I could have I could have moved this. I could have, well, gone for the ball, but then I might use a reroll line. Plus, I wanted to react if it went in the ball, if it went in the crowd. Hmm. I didn't. I should have dodged him back the turn before, really. This is just a lesson in how to play shit against uh, against vampires more than anything. Move up vampires. Vampires are pretty good when the movement seven. <laughs> vampires can take like any step you want. They're pretty good with all of them. Even armor at certain times can be okay. Jesus. Nice dice this turn, good day. Jesus. <laughs> of course, he rolls the five on the pickup. Oh. <laughs> oh, damn it. God damn it. It's Chaffs against uh, Demon, not Demon, it's Slanesh Demons, I guess, is the team. Is he 3 plus 2 plus through the tackle? Pardon? There, is it easy 3 plus 2 plus through tackle? Like, come off. I don't know. I think that's still. Yeah. I mean, yeah, still one ball tackle. Maybe even two. I used my card player, wasn't it? Shit. Um, I think they're exactly the same, viable as I thought they were. I just played, um, I think I played shit, and plus, I mean, this is with, a, you know, don't forget, this is a horrendously uh, level team, which would just be, like, you know, this is not indicative of how, of how good they would be at, at rookie TV. This is them with loads of development. And they are obviously dangerous when you've got, uh, you know, when you've got the uh, gazers running around and two souped up uh, slam goes running around. That's obviously, uh, that's obviously fucking dangerous. It's a dangerous team. And then if you People play shit like I did, you get punished. completely overpowered. 
um, this is what they imagined happening, especially on defense. Um, this is kind of how I imagined offense playing out, where suddenly they're fucked. Yeah. They're just completely the offense. Is dead. The offense is dead. Um, they're not scoring. Um, I think you have to kick on this. You have to kick against this team and just like smash them on offense. You can't. And then uh, like vampires, you want to actually um, try and force them to play offense and smash up their team a little bit before you play because they're just so good on defense. Yeah. Um, the Norhans guys do not start with dodge. No, no skills. They are just they are just seven three four seven. They're just dark elf runners with mm -hmm. claw and hypno gaze and no hands and regen. So getting getting them all blodge is going to be a, a tough ask. Right. Got to pretty much score this turn, right? <laughs> so. Do I care about surfing? Not really. <laughs> yeah, this was something I talked about in the space chat. I think the the offense is on it. The defense is obviously going to be okay. The offense is super questionable. They can't really participate in threatening ways at all. Yeah, the development would be so slow because they don't even fucking have hands, do they? So it's br brutally slow development. I'll give the ball to his hands players now, then, eh? <laughs> Make it interesting. Easy. <laughs> Plim plum fuck. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> no player that is less agility too and is actually agility than both centaurs. <laughs> These people are so happy to roll dice with them. It's amazing. Yeah. But oh, also, keep in mind, gamer pickups are actually impossible. It, these are two things the community holds to be true. Kimri can never pick it up. So. <laughs> yes! Jim BS! <laughs> Glorious! Yeah, well, the ones, I mean, they develop better than, like, yeah, minor, I guess, Minotaurs? Well, their Minotaurs have Mighty Blow, though. Yetis. I guess Yetis, they're going to develop the same as Yetis. Except they don't get as many 2DBs as Yetis. So, Yetis well, also maybe. are more consistently going to accelerate after 6 SVP because they're going to get Mighty Blow Claw. Yeah. And not Claw. Um, Wolf Runners is not a bad comparison, either. That ults just don't develop like ever. You get them blocking out, like, well, you're still shit, and then you get them, and you have no, and then they die at 16. <laughs> just every time. Ult runs are so dog shit. <laughs> right here, here is I'll, I'll just give you the link for these uh, Slanesh teams. This is the way. It's not the fumble one. It's the one that uh, Dord and Sage made for Cyanide. Yeah, it fits with the crunch, yeah. <laughs> Very good. Now, they just didn't make uh, Chaos Edition. It would have been in if they'd made Chaos Edition. So it might be in when they make Blood Bowl 3. And that, maybe that's why it was revealed. I don't know. It's hard to know what motivation Cyanide has had recently for developing the game simply because of all the acquisitions and like rebranding and France labor stuff. So I don't know. Yeah, Ho hopefully it's it's 
it's come to light because they've given up on it. Um, I would like that to be the reason why why Dord and Sage have revealed it now. Hopefully they're revealing it now because, you know, it's never going to be used. That's my dream. Honestly, it's so kind of game kind of confirm what people would expect from the team. They're really good on defense because the Nogaze is good, and then their offense just kind of dies because they don't have the versatility. They have like three players, like half right now, like half the team can't do anything with the ball. They're just like screen players, like dodge. Uh -huh. Yeah, hopefully the chances are gone, Try, Hopefully. They did it three years ago. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, the MVP rule, the TP 2016 MVP rule makes the team, like, much, much, much better. Because suddenly your Damon can actually get focus leveled in a way. So they, they just simply can't now. Yeah, absolutely. They, they need the MVP rule. Because you can't make this team yeah. without the MVP rule. There's no way you're going to have three bludge or block 90 below, you know, you're not going to have three good And also, minutes. and this is not a small thing, you keep the MVPs away from these fucking linemen that can never, de that should never ever develop. Because they're <laughs> yes. Yeah. They're terrible. Yeah. I wish, I wish Gdanik was worse at Blood Bowl. That would really help, <laughs> wouldn't it? It would really help right now. If he could just, if he could just play a bit shit. It'll be really helpful. Yeah, Slanish game. He can come around. Oh, I can double GFR. <laughs> that was a bit crazy, wasn't it? And he can hit him, right. No! Um, no, it hasn't been confirmed at all, BZL. That is bollocks. That is that is bollocks. It's I been, asked it's I been ask confirmed Sage. that this team was specifically not designed for Blood Bowl 2 MVP rules. No, he said the opposite, BZL. He said absolutely the opposite. I'm pretty sure I asked Sage if it was designed for BB2 or BB3, and he said it was designed for, Blood Bowl, for the Blood Bowl 2 environment, specifically. Yeah, yep. absolutely. I remember Sage asking, uh, Skrull asking that question and Sage answering it. He may have he may have changed his tune afterwards, I guess. I guess that's a possibility, seeing as he changed his tune about other things that he uh, when he was talking to the devs. Once, uh, once people didn't like what he said, he, ch he apparently hadn't said it. So there you go. Oh, sorry, BBT, BB two MVP. Sorry, BZL. Sorry, yes. I just I misunderstood. Sorry, BZL. I mis I misread. I misread. <laughs> That's what BZL said. Yeah. Sorry. 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 Oh, tackle did a thing. Sorry. I mean, if you can't tell by how shit I'm playing in this game, I'm not really. I'm not really a hundred percent there right now. But um, yeah, I do apologise. No, I was. Hey, tackle did something. Sometimes, once every 16 turns, tackle makes dodging harder. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Oh, I'm very sorry, BZL. Yeah, no, I was, I was like, no, it fucking wasn't! <laughs> there has been some, uh, some dodgy things said by various people that were untrue. That was, that was what it was, to be fair. Right, one, two, three, four, GFI. Is this what I've got? Is a 3-3 three, three better than a 4-2? What about it? No, it's still just a 2-4. So 2-4 or a 4-2. I can block him and then maybe he's getting with him, right? That's going to be better. I get a 
pal here. Or a pal there. No, I need a pal there. No, I can't the first one. I just need to push him. Oh, could cool get, pull out a draw against the worst team in the game. <laughs> Getting a draw out of this game is remarkable. Yeah, to be fair. Even having the chance of it is, I'm game pretty is happy about. So, two out of three times, this is just a draw now. That's good. Yes! It can, go on, it can go on YouTube again now. <laughs> <laughs> well played to you too, Gadenic. 2 0 up, I thought it was over, but um, we both had some dice, didn't we, to be fair? That was, yeah, that was, that was two very different halves. One half was just Gadenic can't fail Hypno Gaze, and the next half was, oh right, my entire team's going to die. <laughs> yeah. They kind, of, oh, they kind of called that in the first half, like, it's going to be like his level, where they're going to be really sturdy, and then they'll explode, and they exploded. They're just going to die. They're just gonna, the Hydra's just going to blow up at some point. Oh, there's, a, there's an overtime. There's overtime. Oh, 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 might even get the win versus six men. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Glorious. You guys can play OT if you want. I don't care. <laughs> there's overtime. We must play it. <laughs> I'm not biased. <laughs> but we must play the overtime. <laughs> uh, honestly, I don't. Like, I would kind of want to see Jim play defense offense again, just to see how the team tries to play defense <laughs> men down. Because like, it seems like it's going to be just as hard as playing offense at equal men's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Right. This is, I like, guess, the critical. This, the, you said earlier, I said earlier they're playing like elves. I don't know what they play like elves. This is always going to be the question is, like, as you lose players and a higher percentage of your team starts having no hands, it becomes harder and harder to play like elves. Yeah, yeah. It's just a private, a private league where we were able to uh, get the players edited to create the main file. Uh, so the thing with just only taking two Damonettes is that on a couple of teams that might be doable, the issue is the linemen are fucking garbage. And so every time you've done a Damonette, who's an impactful but like... They are, they are impactful, but it's not weird. Um, you have an extra lineman, and the linemen are terrible. They n can ne you not only not only is their development bad, but you want to actively avoid it. It's so awful because they can't ever just become like a kit guy with thirty players who just like does a job and dies. And they're like, oh, I'm just terrible. They're just bad. They're just really, really bad. Yep, lemon is good. They can't even get block. I mean, you just need block, right? So I, I would always start with three. Also, three is perfect for the MVP. I would always, like, I in Blue Bowl 2016. All we got was sure hands. You could only take sure hands. I'd be like, all right, you know what? Dodge, two heads, extra arm, sure hand, fine. That's a that's a real player. That is a player that has a role on this team. Like, yep. like or you just said you can only take wrestle. Like, even just, like, wrestle, dodge, great. They serve a job. They are now fodder. They're very good at that job. But now they're just like, they just have dodge. They're just bad. They're just bad players. Yeah, really bad. Hello, Hummerzep. Aha! A glorious fail gaze. It, it, yeah, but overall, from the game, the first half was like, everyone who thinks that Slon, Slonesh should be overpowered, it's like, that's the first half. <laughs> Where they completely straight your offense. And then, the, then they have to actually start trying to, like, move the ball for four turns, and it gets really hard. Yeah, exactly, Wolfpack. They're the same as, they're the same as, uh, just the same as Corn as well, you know? Like, Corn. You know, bad enough. Bad enough that they're not gonna be overpowered. You know, they definitely can't be overpowered, no matter how wrong, no matter how wrong, 
Dolden, Dolden Sage get the roster, like, you know, do you know what I mean? Like, you could try and make it win 30%, and even if you fuck up and it wins 40%, it's still not going to be good. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, so, like, that's what I mean. I'm not saying they did get it wrong. I'm saying if they if they miss, to, to quote George W, if they misunderestimated how good they were, no matter how much they misunderestimate how good they are, um, they're not going to be overpowered. And then someone somewhere will use them. So, Dord can unequivocally use stats to prove that they were well designed because some people use them, which means they're adding something to the game. And that's good. <laughs> um, as for the Art Brett's Better question, I would say they are about the same. They are. They're not really comparable that is because simply Brett's not designed true. the original the Brett's design. does not support your terrible. assertion. They're designed to be good at like TV 1000 to 1100 and they never develop in any way that's meaningful because, you know. Your knights don't need it at all. We'll get passing access. Fuck you. They aren't knights. Knights wouldn't play Blood Bowl. Go fuck yourself. I'm Plasmoid. <laughs> I'm a oh, fuck that design. Um, and then eventually they got agility access, and they and it's like, oh, you can spam like four bludgers and a bunch of like wrestle guard, which is awkward, but you've got a bunch of like guard and block and doll, so you're actually a pretty bashy team. And you've got a bunch of like quad for kind of being pretty mobile themselves, and you start with a bunch of really good skills. So it's, it all kind of works out. It ends up being pretty good. Um, comparable to this team, who starts out terrible but has theoretical good development. Like, honestly, High Elves are a better comparison, and I think they're worse than High Elves. Um, Kids Love is the easiest comparison. Yeah. Um, I think they're probably slightly better than Kids Love. Kids Love and Vamps, isn't it? The Kids Love and Vamps are both kind of similar. Yeah. Both better on defense than offense. I think Vampires have a worse record. Everyone knows vampires are bad, but I kind of like the I like theoretical vamps more than I like theoretical his love and theoretical um, Slanesh, for the record. Yeah. Because vampire star players are just completely impossible to deal with. Like they're just like, lol, I'm, I'm strength five, lodge, go fuck yourself. Like what do you you and you just lose. You just lose to them, like they just do whatever they want. And you're like, I only need one. I don't care. <laughs> Miserable. Miserable to play against. There are very few environments where you. There, like I don't. There are very few formats where you start at anything past like thirteen hundred or fourteen hundred team value. In the first round, you vote, and the vast majority start at TV 1000. So if your team's just terrible there, it's just a really long slog to being good. Yeah. Ever. And no small part because, you know, it's, it's not. Bye. That's how it goes. Can I base the ball? Can't hit it. Can I hit the ball? I could hit the ball. There's a chance, there's a chance of a ball hit. Oh, how exciting. Right, there's a chance Nurgle's of a ball. Nurgle's actually a decent comparison to this team as well, and that Nurgle has theoretical good development, with Nurgle's kind of... And I, I mean, I've said this about Nurgle in other places, but Nurgle is a team that's frustrating because they're always, like, five skills away from being five skills away. <laughs> like, no matter what your development with Nurgle is, you're like, man, if I just had insert skills here, I would be good now. And you're never actually good. You never feel comfortable with the team. Their agility play is so bad. Their ball play is so bad. Oh, well, cast him instead of chaining him. <laughs> Not the worst thing in the world, is it, to cast somebody instead of chaining them? <laughs> Yeah, vamps. Like, vamps are like daemonets. That basically daemonets give up the strength and armor for a movement and like claw. It's basically the stat line trade-off. 
I don't. Am I getting anything in that? No, that's the stat line trick. And mutation access, so... Oh, and they get no hands, and they give up blood plus too. It's a weird... I think overall vampires are a better player. Vampires, unfortunately, like, um... It's kind of a shame, like, for mixed teams, that you can't just put vampires on them and just, like, throw and just bl suck blood off other players. You have to have the thralls there. Then it's easier to fit on other teams. They're a bit more fewer to build some mixed race stuff, but other than that, it's probably doesn't throw a better player. I knew I should have moved it. Buddy Bull over there, should have double based him and then just put a hob on him. Fuck. He doesn't have a Jewelry 4 passing, he just has a Jewelry 3 passing still, so. He's still gonna roll a 6, isn't he? A dirty mm. Dino. Or maybe a 5. 2 2 5 3. I could have made, could have played it better. Trying to double base him was dumb, I could have just made, him, made it safer. I'm excited. Right, lucky. Lucky Jim. Yeah, I think that's the right way to have played the offense. I don't think there was much more getting it could have done. It's just to stretch out the chores a little bit and then try and go for the touchdown. Yeah, no, he, he, I think he played it perfect. Yeah, I think he played it right and I played it wrong. I mean, wrongs are harsh, are very harsh, to be fair. But I think I should have just played it safer. Could I make that a 3D? I don't know. Yeah, I think I should have played it safer. For fuck's sake, Tony! <laughs> Stop being shit! Yeah, the strength access on the wrestlers is really terrible for births. But you see, originally they had strength access on the blitzers, but then, much like much like Korn, they were like, oh, what happens if we make a team good? Oh, we can't do that. Let's get it's rid of the just strength access. Bash team. We don't want more bash teams than Blood Bowl. Yep. Can't have that. Don't want our knights to punch things. Meh. They get passing access. <laughs> now they're no, they're like a bunch of fox. That's what everyone wants. <laughs> Fucking hate it. I fucking honestly, I fucking hate that that shit. That's just that's just what they do. They're like, we can't have a good team. Whatever you do, let's take strength off them. We don't want them to be good. It's just fucking shit. GG, glorious. You can give them block and guard, yeah. Oh. Glorious. So, going into the game, I've got a couple of questions about this. I was going to be miserable and have like forms or something, but. What is Ost Wars in particular would be a bad matchup, like, for Slanesh? Um, or did you think this would be just kind of a, like a generic Bash team matchup where it's just going to be kind of a struggle? Potentially. Um, I think with Gadir Nick's build, it wasn't that bad for them. I think it would be bad for them if they'd spam dodge on the Linos, because they're not going to get to use it as much, are they? But. I guess it's not particularly bad. I just think, you know, any <laughs> any team that can punch their demonettes is bad. Is like you know, as any any bad like any I, I don't know. Like at the end of the, <laughs> it's it's probably one of the better matchups for them. It's the same as Vamps, right? Vamps versus Chorfs and that and and Kislev. It, it's tricky for both sides because obviously you might just beat them up, and as you can see, twenty eight yeah. of E breaks beat them up. But also, you haven't got the agility to, to, like, you know, correct if something goes wrong. And you haven't got the strength to, like, massively do them and, and all that kind of stuff. So it's it's a, just interesting, you know, the, the, good, the excel at cage breaking and mm -hmm. you have to cage. So I think it's definitely, they prefer, it's easier for them to win against Bash than it is for them against agility. Because agility don't need a cage. So having a cage breaking team against a team that doesn't need a cage isn't very good. So... Yeah. I don't. Gnanic's saying he doesn't have to do an offense on this guy, so maybe you can pick something out in your next game, but you're going you're to play Dark Elf, so that's going to be fun. Like, oh yeah, I can never fail anything when I lose the game. <laughs> um, at all times. Um, I don't, I don't know how the, te the defenses can be super aggressive. That looks, the defense looks really fun to play. It's kind of like Skaven defense is just really fun because you're always terrifying. <laughs> um, I have. I don't understand this team's offense, other than I hope I roll threes, but even that isn't enough. Like, God. Yeah, yeah the defense was rowdy for sure, but, you know, that 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 was helped by 
me playing shit on the first drive and then blitz on the second drive. So I don't, you know, and it being good for them, like that is a good matchup for them on defense, right? Because they they, they tie up, they tie up the uh, what's it called blockers one and one, and their edge twos they can't do anything. So they they can they can man mark all of them and not even give up hits really, and then they can run around with gears and and everything, and it's it's brutal. One of the conclusions I do think I draw from this is that for this team, the kickoff result, or specifically the coin toss, is really important for this team because they really want to play defense first. They really don't want to get a chance and just get smashed to pieces on offense, <laughs> and then have to play in down defense because that team's going to struggle to do that. Yeah. Um. I think getting big, like with L's getting big defense first and getting to have your full team and be able to play that way is because where you can just slow your line in 